most of the time, a walk outside can be just what the doctor ordered. After all, a few cheerful tweeting birds and some crisp, fresh air can do a world of good. Oklahoma's Jim Passmore was likely expecting a similar experience when he took his dogs out for a walk along a creek near the town of Broken Arrow. That is, until he saw something that looked like a beaver flopping around in the creek bed. Another man might have kept on walking, fit to enjoy all the peace and quiet of Oklahoma Spring. Jim, though, he went to check out what he saw, and you'll be thankful that he did. With just over 100,000 residents, it's not always easy to find some peace and quiet in the town of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, a suburb of Tulsa. Recently, the search for some of that precious relaxation sent a local man, Jim Passmore, to nearby Hakey Creek. Shortly after Jim arrived at the creek, however, he saw something that made his afternoon anything but peaceful. Instead of having a nice stroll through nature, he was about to uncover something seriously distressing. As he walked along the trails, Jim noticed something struggling in the water. It moved languidly. It was practically indistinguishable from a puddle of mud, and its brown fur barely broke the surface of the creek. Another man might have ignored it, but not Jim. At first glance, Jim thought it might be a beaver. After all, it wouldn't be uncommon for one of those furry critters to be hanging out by a waterway. Upon closer inspection, however, Jim realized just how wrong he'd been. There was no beaver struggling in Heike Creek that afternoon. As Jim neared the shoreline, the truth became clear. It was a dog, frantically trying to escape the muddy shore. All evidence suggested he'd been stuck there for a long time, too. Right away, Jim approached the imperiled pup and alerted the authorities of the situation. Soon enough, a local police officer arrived on the scene. With a crowd gathering, the rescue effort began. Complicating matters, the dog was a bit heavy. With a little extra weight on him, he'd sunk deep into the mud and couldn't help the rescue much on his own. Also, he wasn't exactly thrilled to have strangers touching him. Add a trapped, frightened dog to a pack of handsy humans, and you could see how this situation wasn't as simple as it should have been. The man leading the rescue tied a rope around the pooch and handed it to the police officer on shore. When the officer gave the rope a gentle pull, however, the dog didn't budge. He was seriously stuck. Finally, like a shipwreck salvaged from the bottom of the ocean, the dog broke free from the mud. With some effort, the officer dragged the poor pooch to shore. Unfortunately, his hardships were only just beginning. With just a visual inspection, the rescue team couldn't tell how long the dog had been trapped. Had it been hours? Days? All manner of theories arose about the dog's situation, but police guessed a car had struck him and the blow sent him tumbling into the water. Free from the water, the dog received the spa treatment from his rescuers, who wrapped him in towels to warm him up and took him to the veterinarian. Doctors deduced that he was overweight, male, and about eight years old. They named him Teddy. Unfortunately, Teddy needed to be rescued again in just a few short hours. Despite being well-fed, no one claimed Teddy. Out of the water, cleaned and dried, the poor pooch still faced a grim fate the overpopulated Broken Arrow shelter, where he'd likely be euthanized. But luckily, in stepped in another savior. Before Teddy could be shipped to the shelter, the Oklahoma Alliance for Animals, OAA, gave authorities the proverbial, hold it right there, a nonprofit determined to help the animals find homes via adoption. The OAA was a good place for Teddy to end up. He still had some struggles ahead, though. During the rescue, Teddy had been understandably scared. No one was surprised by that. What was surprising, however, was that Teddy had bitten one of his rescuers. The OAA feared he had rabies, so to be safe, they quarantined him for a short time. Times were tough in dog jail, but for a frightened, potentially rabid pooch like Teddy, it was a good spot. OAA wrote on its Facebook page, when he first arrived at Alta Vista Animal Hospital, he was scared, so we gave him a couple of days to get used to his surroundings. But would he ever find a home? The Oklahoma Alliance for Animals elaborated on Teddy to its Facebook followers, who had taken a liking to the hefty dog. Soon, things were looking up for old Ted, who'd been given pain meds and started accepting lots of loving from the staff. As well as Teddy was doing, he still had his fair share of problems. Because of his weight, he couldn't get up very easily, and he was lethargic and acting unwell. Worse, no one had come forward to claim him or adopt him, so Teddy remained in the care of the OAA. But Teddy's good looks and charm didn't go unnoticed. 
Some fans on OAA's Facebook page offer their support. When he's out of quarantine, I want to come love on him. One commenter wrote, but would that land Teddy a home? It's been nearly a full year since Teddy was rescued, and it's unknown whether he found a forever home since. One thing is for certain though, with as much love and attention as he's received, it's likely someone fell in love with the senior pooch. At the end of it all, it would have been so easy for Jim Passmore to keep walking. Instead, he did what was right. He might not have had the chance or ability to say it, but we're sure Teddy is pretty thankful. It would have been easy for Jim Passmore to ignore the commotion and continue on with his peaceful walk, but because he stopped and checked the situation out, he saved a life.